I've already installed Explaindio and I've just opened it up and this is what it looks like. Now the first time you open Explaindio and use it, make sure you've got username and password handy because you will need this when you exit the program or want to save for the first time. It just checks the server to make sure you are a registered user. Now the interface of Explaindio is fairly intuitive. You've got a bar at the top which accesses project functions. So you can open a project, create a new project, save projects, preview projects, add audio, create the video and import. Import is used for slide packs that you may optionally buy. You can import them in and then use those slides within your projects. There's an unregister button currently disabled. Um, that is to unregister Explaindio from your computer if you want to move it to another one. And you've got support and you've got market. When the market is open, that will take you to a page where you can buy more slide packs and things. And then the account screen just takes you to your login on the Explaindio members website. Now, at the, underneath that toolbar at the top, we've got the timeline, which is currently empty. And we've got a button over here on the left, which allows us to add new slides to the timeline. This button is currently disabled because I don't have an active project. So I need to open a project or create a new one. Underneath this timeline, we've got the main editing area. On the right, we've got a preview, so we can preview and edit slides. And on the left, we've got the various properties that we can edit. Again, we can't actually access this at the moment because this isn't an active slide. I don't have a project open. So let's just create a quick project and I'm going to just call this Explaindio Demo. And as soon as we've done that, you can see now we've got this button active and this allows us to add slides. So let's just click on that. And the slide selection when we come to add a slide, we've got three options. We can add an animated slide from the collection. We can create a new sketch scene or we can add a sketch scene from personal library. Now this refers to sketch scenes that you've saved already. The sketch scene is the hand-drawn whiteboard type animation and Explaindio is, is pretty good and flexible with this. You can add normal slides and you can add this whiteboard sketch slides into the same project so you can you can mix and match them if you want to. If you want to just create a hand-drawn whiteboard video you can do that purely in Explaindio. If you want to do just sort of a more presentation type slide demonstration video you can do that. If you want to mix them you can. Let's just click on the add animated slide from collection for now and it shows you all the collection slide packs that come with Explaindio. If you've bought any more you we'll have more options here obviously. Each slide pack you can click on in the left side opens up a number of slides down here which you can pick. And as you click on these slides you can see a preview over on the right hand side with a bit more information about that particular slide. When you want to add a slide to your video you can either select an individual slide and click add single and then that adds the single to your timeline or you could actually add the entire pack. So let's say we want to add this entire set of slides which we're going to edit to create a full video. We can just click on add pack and you can see it adds all of the slides to the timeline. You can delete a slide by clicking on the little cross. You can duplicate a slide by clicking on this icon over on the left hand side. You can see as I click that it's adding more copies of that slide to my video. When you click on a slide in the timeline, you'll see the preview played down here, what the slide will look like. Now obviously these ones haven't been edited with my own information and there's no voiceover, no music, nothing like that. But this just gives you an idea of what the slides are going to look like. If you want to delete a slide from the slideshow, you can do that. We've seen how you can delete them. You can also move them, drag them around. Just click drag and drop and reorder your slides and at the very top here we've got a preview button which allows you to preview the entire video from start to finish. You can see there it's just gone from one slide to the next and again. Now clearly the video as it is isn't worth anything to us because it hasn't. it's just got the default information in there and we'll have a look in the next video how we can actually go in and edit slides. However, I just want to point out here that at the top, once you have your presentation worked out in slides, you can then go in and add 
audio if you want to. This can be a voiceover which you can record using this button. You can also add music and this software this software does come with some music mp3s built in but you can have a look on Google for royalty free mp3s and find some more music and you can add those tracks to your video if you want to. When you're happy you can click on the create video and what this will do will allow you to right, let me just check my registration details there it will allow you to choose where you want to save the video the quality of the video whether you want a perfect video quality or whether you just want to create a quick good video quality and it takes time the perfect one takes longer obviously than the, the good one and then you've got options for the export speed you can also put in an image watermark if you want to and then when you're done you can start the export and it will then create the video for you so that's a very quick introduction to Explaindio. In the next videos, we're going to have a look at how we can add these slides and then use these features over here to edit them to display the information that we want displayed.